Over the last couple of weeks, my background has been changed drastically. And that is not true for any shelf more than this one here. Because as promised, after turning my Moss Eisley Cantina diorama into a modular, I have started work on the next wave of dioramas. And these are all based off iconic hallway scenes. I will probably recap them once I've done a few more, but we've got Vader on the Tentive from Rogue One. We've got Luke from The Mandalorian, and today we'll be looking at Kenobi from The Kenobi Show. This diorama is taken straight from the Fortress Inquisitoria scene where Kenobi goes back to save Leia. I really need to watch that show because I don't remember it as well as I think I do sometimes. But Kenobi has fought off a few stormtroopers and a really cool shock viper droid. And first off, let's talk about this Leia minifigure because it is the iconic outfit from A New Hope with short legs. And if you are new to the channel, perhaps you haven't seen the video where I convert minifigures to their actual height. This is the in-universe 1 to 45 Lego scale minifigure size of Carrie Fisher as portrayed throughout the original trilogy. This is the actual height of Leia in Lego form and I thought it was funny that we're getting a minifigure scale young Leia, I guess. Well, minifigure scale to Carrie's height. So I had to include the minifigure here because young Leia hasn't been released yet. And I don't really think it's a minifigure I want to pay 30, 40 pound for. We also have my modified Attack of the Clones Kenobi, which as you can see, does have a different hair piece. It is up in a low pony towel, whereas Kenobi does have his hair loose, but I think from the front, it definitely looks the same. And we've got a slightly concerned face with the water that's about to come flooding in. We also have a stormtrooper down here that has already been defeated. But if you look at the far end of the diorama, you'll notice another two stormtroopers just peering through the windows of these doors, which there is a spot just to include these two troopers here. But what I think is really, really cool is that these doors slide open and shut, revealing Kenobi on the other side. It's a neat little play feature. They do close almost perfectly. There's the slightest of gap there. But I also like the technique I've used to give these windows some angle because it's not the easiest when you've got the slopes on the outside. Speaking of slopes, you can also see along this right hand side wall, the whole wall is sloped and this is to represent the outside of the Fortress Inquisitorius or more the underwater level as there is an ocean the other side of these windows, which is why I haven't filled them with glass because the angles that they've got, there's a slight lean in the middle and it depends what scene and what hallway they are in to what the windows actually look like. But the good thing with this diorama is if you wanted to straighten out the windows, you can and you can also represent them with the slight curves that you see down a certain other hallways. This is a mashup of the different hallways we see Kenobi and Leia running through in the Fortress Inquisitorius. And I think that was the best thing to represent this diorama because you can also create so many other scenes like when Cal fought Vader and I'll be showing that off in a future video. So to get the angles on these doors, what I've actually used, I can pop this off to show you, try not to knock over Kenobi, is these hinge brackets here, which slot into a two by gap on the top, a two by two gap. And then that is what this whole roof is resting on. And you can see I've used a bracket and a plate to hang a little bit lower to stop these doors wobbling because without the roof, it is a little loose. But once I clip this back on, you'll notice that the doors really have absolutely no wobble to them because this door on the right is sandwiched between that bracket and the plate beside it no matter if it's open or closed, which is a really, really cool feature because as you can see, the furthest it opens is two studs overhanging. And that is because of the little contraption I have included on this side. We've got a snot brick here, which stops this clip moving too far in. And as I said, it does create the smallest gap between the doors when they are shut. But honestly, I'm really not that bothered by it. 
and then when it's open it also does stop the clip on the other side so if you would like instructions to build Kenobi's hallway diorama definitely let me know in the comments but now it's time to put it back on its shelf these green stands are custom 3d printed by myself and they make it so easy to display a lot more dioramas than I'd usually fit on this shelf you can see taking up the width of two dioramas we can have a total of six and these stands just slot over the top of the dioramas it's a lot easier than I'm going to make it seem and as you can see the feet fit into the top of the next one up really you could stack these as high as you think is safe and then you can put another diorama on top so I'll give you one more look at Vader's tentative boarding you can see that trooper hanging on the top is suspended in mid-air and I think that's a really cool feature of that diorama and then you've got Luke's dark trooper attack where he is currently choking out one of the dark trooper droids and now Kenobi's fortress inquisitorious and I like the green border it just encompasses the diorama and makes it its own little scene so let me know what you would like to see next though I do have a few more in mind from other Star Wars shows. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now tomorrow there will be an update on the Brick Link store and it's going to be an interesting one because I have made a few mistakes in this first week which of course I did expect but the store is already up and running so be sure to head over there Master Moldy on Brick Link to check out all the bricks that I've got in stock and I hope you're enjoying these mocks because there is a massive update as far as the displayability of these mocks and I really hope you stick around to find out more but that is all for today's video may the bricks be with you always